So um, I'm I'm going to try and uh, dig up a uh, a video, an old promotional video for uh, Camp Kanapwa, which was the camp I went to for like uh, ten years. Four four and a camper and six staff. And um, Louis Giori was the director, the camp director. And uh, he found he bought the land, um, like a hunting property, and it had a private lake about a kilometer or two long. And uh, he could get two J Craft ski boats going at once on that lake. And uh, he named it Camp Can Ski in 1985. Um, as he progressed the camp, he uh, he got more things like sailing, canoeing, kayaking. Uh, they introduced like swimming programs and stuff. And uh, yeah, he, and then he's like, uh, we got to make this camp for everyone. It's not just about these like uh, skiing. It's about everyone coming and having a good time. So he introduced uh, glass etching, um, you know, sports, arts and crafts, woodworking, uh, wood carving glass etching, uh, photography. Um, they did uh, like things like uh, frisbee golf and bocce ball. And they did, uh, of course, all the field sports and ultimate, which was really fun. And they played indoor, uh, indoor floor hockey inside the rec hall and it, on, a, on a cement surface with like, a, you know, like one of those orange balls and plastic sticks. Yay, like four foot plastic sticks. It was amazing because staff got to have staff tribals. And it was the most intense like competition, like, and it was so like on fire. Like, we always did tribals, like uh, the Cree versus the Ojibwe. So the Cree was like the red, and the Ojibwe was the blue, right? And I was Cree. C R C R E C R E. That's Cree. That's right. What a burn, burn, burn down. What a burn, burn, burn it down. Red flame. <laughs> Cree. And uh, we had we had a good we had a good team too. Me, Dahmers, uh, I think Harley was Cree, um, and our whole ski staff was Cree one year, and we're like, yeah, but we would go skiing anyways sometimes during the running games and stuff because uh, we got to go skiing twice a week, the ski staff, at night when the rest of the staff were doing EP. But, uh, yeah, every night there was an amazing evening program too. So the way this whole thing was structured, Louis Giori was a absolute, like, mastermind. He had the whole camp going and working very well like an organism he was number one was keep the staff happy keep this like give them the best time of their young lives and he he would like take us out to the baseball fields and like he'd buy like mountains of like delicious food and feed it to us there we'd play softball all night like we do like fun stuff we go into town and we get like tim hortons or like dairy queen or something and like just walk around Bancroft and he uh he was like an avid uh uh advocate of like fun just having lots of fun and even he was like 65 years old and he was getting me to rip him off the beach in nothing but his bare feet and a wetsuit rip him with like at 50 miles per hour off the beach from 30 feet way up on the beach and I'd rip him with the with the J-Craft boat and I would throw the hammer down. He'd be like, okay, Satchmo. And he'd got like this big white beard. <laughs> and he's just like holding on to the ski rope. And he's sitting on the beach like this in his suit. And he's like, okay. He's like, let's go, Satchmo. <laughs> and I just like throw the hammer down and the boat just I'm like so scared watching the whole thing. I'm like looking back. I'm like, what the? And then he's just boom onto the beach on his ass uh, right on his back like this and then boom instant like this and he's we're going like 50 miles an hour pulling him on nothing but his ass on, on the sk skimming on top of the water we're going so fast 
and he just floom, flings himself up and he's on his bare feet and he's skiing like from a 70 foot rope behind a J-craft going like 50 miles per hour. And when he cuts, it like doubles the speed. When you go around on a, a turn and you get flung outside the wake on your bare feet, you like triple your speed. It's crazy. And yet you, you have to like put all your weight on your outside foot. Your other foot is like in the air. And you're just like, ah, oh. <laughs> it's like, yeah. and then boom, get back. Yeah. Mm -hmm. and, yeah. Louis was really good at it. He was like, yeah, he was, the, you know, I think he, he won a uh, barefooting medal for Ontario. He won the Ontario bronze barefoot champion. Anyways, so yeah, and that's what that's what it's all about, right? Just like as a leader, or staff, or whatever, it's just about having as much fun as you possibly can, like as much fun as humanly possible, right? <laughs> right? <laughs> without without ever incurring any anything uh, negative to anyone, just positive, like amazing, like everything is good. You got your homies, you got everyone around you, and we all love each other, and we're tight, tightly, tightly, tightly knit uh, unit. We're one. We're one unit, and uh, yeah, we're, we go one, we go all. So we're like, you know, we're like amazing. We're like the best, like ever. <laughs> yeah, and uh, yeah, so there's two things. Yeah, that one. And number two is, uh, yeah, just lead, set, like lead by example, right? If, if we're teaching kids, right? Just, uh, yeah. just like lead by example. You do it, show, like show them. You don't have to tell them, you just do it. They'll see that and they'll see how much fun you're having with your, with your like homies. Like, you know, they'll see that and they'll be like, wow they'll be like oh wow you know like that's cool and of course like everyone has an amazing time like positive vibrations like everywhere like all the kids are so happy like all the staff are just like so happy and like we're just like yeah like family like giving like big hugs and like yeah it's good Yeah, so, mm-hmm.